Well, welcome, welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, right there, Marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Send me an, uh, an email, contact me, ask me questions, send me requests, ideas, whatever you like. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about something that I think confuses a lot of people, including and specifically uh, uh, contentful authors, people using contentful to create content. In a rich text field, you're able to embed entries within Contentful and outside of Contentful, including links. And there are a couple of ways to do that, and some people get confused. Also, on the back end, we're gonna we're gonna look at it from GraphQL's point of view, and we'll see what are what can you do when you get this information, right? How can you uh, how can you display this information? So let's go ahead and jump in, and let me show my screen here, and give me a second because my mouth is a little bit dry. I need a little bit of water here. All right, so in Contentful, you have the ability to have a variety of field types, okay? We know that. One of them, it's called a rich text field. Within a rich text field, this is your, you'll get a rich text box, a rich text box, right? And within that, you'll have two uh, places where you can do things. You can embed entries or you can link to entries. Here's your embed button, and we're gonna jump into Contentful, so don't worry, in just a second but I want to give you a quick overview. And here is your uh, link to entries. Now, for the embed, you can embed what's called an entry. And keep in mind, it's also called a block entry. And you'll see because in the back end, that's how it's displayed. An inline entry, and I'm going to show you the differences between all of this. And you can embed an asset, right? It's just a media that resides in Contentful. In the other thing you could do is you can link as well. You can link to an external URL. Let's say you want to link to google.com or actually better, you want to link to headlesscreator.com. Um, you can link to an internal entry, some other entry in a content type, or you can link to an internal media asset, something that resides in your media, right? Uh, and there are specific reasons to use either of those, but this is what it looks like. So let's go ahead and jump into contentful here and i'm going to show you real quick what i did i have a blog content type and i have a title and summary really simple the summary is rich text field keep, keep it simple like that on purpose so let's go to the content and i have an article here that i wrote a very simple blog article called my blog article of course all right and you can see here's my rich text field and here's my link my hyperlink button and here's my embed so why don't we start out with um, linking to some stuff. So for example, let's say here we have, here's a URL link to google.com and let's say we wanna link google.com. So we just select it, click on hyperlink. See, it's already selecting the link or the text. And then we'll select URL. You have URL, entry and asset. URL is to an external URL. And then of course here we would put, now your immediate question is going to be, well, I wanted to open a new window. Can we do that? No, there's nothing here to be able to select that. If you want to do something like that, look at my um, lessons in the Content Modeling Weekly course because I talk about how can you create a content type to be able to do external links that are reusable, so on and so forth, that can open to a new window and all that kind of stuff. But with this kind of built into the RTF uh, editor, you cannot. You can just link it, basically which makes sense because opening a new window, if you think about it, is very tied to a delivery channel, right? Um, it may be okay for the website, but not for the mobile app, you know, things like that. So we'll click on, so now we have it and you can see it's linked. All right, there is one drawback to this from an authoring point of view. Um, you can't remove the link. So in other words, I could go ahead and delete this, but nothing happens. I can't do an update. So there's no way to remove that link. The only way to remove that link is basically to do this again and then delete what I just typed in. So keep that in mind. And Google, or Google, <laughs> uh, Contentful, if you're watching, it would be great just to say remove link and it'll just remove it, right? That would be nice, a nice thing to add. Um, Okay, now let's add an asset link to a red car. So let's assume we have, and we're not gonna assume, I'm gonna show you. Under media, I just opened up a new window for media. 
you can see that I have a red sports car. I have a bunch of stuff here. This is all my media that I just uploaded, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now let's add an asset link to a red car, which is to uh, link to an asset in Contentful. So we're going to go ahead and hyperlink, but this time we're going to say asset and see that changes. And now you get to select the asset. So I'm going to select the red sports car. Now notice it's just a link. It's not showing the media here. It's not embedding it. It's just a link to, and that's the big difference where authors always get confused. Like what's the difference between linking to an asset and embedding an asset? And you'll see what happens when we embed an asset. And then finally, we're gonna link to, again, we're not embedding, we're gonna link to uh, an entry in another content tab. So finally, we'll add a link to an entry link, or we'll add um, a, a link to an entry link uh, to an entry in another content type. So we'll say an entry is going to be linked. We'll change this to entry. And now we're going to select and we're going to select a chat entry. Let's say we'll select it to that. So it's linked to that. Insert. Okay. Now notice here you have remove selection, but that really doesn't remove the link because it just removes what you're doing. If I click on cancel, it's still there. So again, there is no remove link. I think all of these, we need to have a remove. Even if you do remove selection, there's no update. So Contentful, add a remove uh, remove link altogether. So that way we can remove the link. But as you can see, we have one, two, three links here. One is to an external URL. One is to an internal media. A media asset and another one is to an internal article. I highly recommend that if your users, and let's publish this, if your users are going to link to any content that's existing in Contentful, link it as an entry. Don't put the URL to that entry because if you ever change the slug, if you have the ability to do that in your content type, um, you don't want to go back to your content. It's always much better to, to do that. So we have the link in an RTF. Let's go look at it in um, GraphQL real quick. And of course, I already have some that I've done. So you can see that um, this is going to be my blog article. And you can see I'm, I'm pulling the title and then I'm pulling the summary. Remember, the summary has JSON, right? That will return as that. And then I also have all of these links because also the uh, RTF will return any links in the JSON separately so you can iterate those and, and get them. So what I'm going to do is let's remove that for now yep. and run this so you can see what we get. Okay, so you can see if we go back, we have let's link some stuff and we have a three bullet items with links. So let's see what that looks like. So here's my JSON and let's go to Welcome to my blog article. That's the um, the beginning right there. Then we'll say, let's link some stuff. It's a heading to an order list. And then we start here. Here's a URL link. Actually, that's just the bold part. But here's the hyperlink. So you can see it returns a link to an external uh, website as a hyperlink. I know it could be an internal document, a URL, but basically a link to a URL. It returns it as a hyperlink with the actual value, right? The the URL right there. This is the uh, the text. This is what's shown, the label basically of the link. The next one, you'll see it's an asset link and it returns it as an asset hyperlink. Here's the value of the text, right? If we go back, the value of, it says red car. And then a link to the internal asset. And you'll see in just a minute, we'll add links. We'll add the links back. And then finally, the final one, you'll see that it returns it, if we go back here, as an hi uh, entry hyperlink, right? We had an asset hyperlink, uh, just a, a hyperlink. We go back here. Where are you? Hyperlink, which is a URL. An asset hyperlink, which is a link to an internal asset with the ID to the asset. And then finally, we have an entry hyperlink, which is, it has the ID to the specific entry. So again, here, this is good for, if you have in your document, you just want to link to another document that is hosted 